Hey girl, hey, and welcome to my own damn show. My name is Emily, but you can call me Ems. Welcome back to the office. Or the door to the office. Uh, today, I'd like to talk about five books that every Lolita should read. Um, these aren't necessarily related to Lolita in any way. Some of them. Um, some of them are just period inspiration. Um, some of them are just really good books. So, <laughs> five books. Let's get this down. Uh, first of all, I'll start with the one that if you've seen my movies, uh, video and my, yeah, my movies video, uh, you're gonna know this is coming, um, because I talked at length about it. Um, Jane Eyre. It is my favorite book in the world <laughs> since reading it in second year university for my survey of English Lit. Uh, the professor really hates Jane Austen, so he decided to go with Charlotte Bronte as an example of the Victorian novel. Since a lot of Lolita clothing is inspired by the Rococo and Victorian periods, um, I thought that Jane Eyre would be a good book to read. It's got, it's just, it's just a really good book. And I like how she talks to the reader and it's a very interesting book because it's not a gothic, even though it's a gothic setting. It's not a romance because Jane is brought up in in her stature, their standing, their social standing, and Mr. Rochester is brought down in his social standing. The way that a romance works is nobody goes up, nobody goes down. The girl of lower standing gets taken in by the like man and like that's how a traditional romance really works but it just doesn't do that and it could be a coming of age story but because she starts off as a young girl but she comes of age very quickly in the book and so it's not really all about her growing up but it's about her growing up and going to this gothic setting and with all this uh, paranormal, not paranormal, but supernatural stuff going on with a romance. It's just like this really interesting combination. I wrote an essay about that combination in my course, but you can see that the edges, I don't know if you can see that. It's, yeah. For me only having this a couple of years, it's pretty damn openable. <laughs> so yes. Number two. Two <laughs> is The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman. This is a really interesting book. Um, if you've only seen the movie, don't judge it by that. The movie is crap. This is a trilogy that is amazing. The Golden Compass, The Subtle Knife, and The Amber Spyglass. But definitely check out The Golden Compass. It's kind of like a steampunk novel, so it brings the Victorian era sort of Victorian Regency kind of period and kind of brings it into with like with some modern technology and stuff. Uh, this is my second copy of it so it's very not read because I used to have another copy which was completely falling apart. The cover was ripped so I got a box set with all three because I only had the first one originally. But yes, definitely worth a read. Very interesting, very interesting universe and concept of multiverses. So if you're really interested in science fiction or even like physics, definitely if you're interested in physics, this is a really good book. Um, kind of brings supernatural and physics into one. Um, my roommate's a physics major. I'll have to ask him how he feels about this book. We'll see. Video pot topic? Maybe? Mm. Probably not, but you know, it's possible. Number, wow, I can't, this arm is like really sore and so I can't really do much with it today, but this hand is my bad hand, so I'm like trying to do numbers, but it's not working out. But number three is Anthony Burgess' A Clockwork Orange. This might not seem very normal to be suggesting for Lolita's, but 
I think every Lolita should read... I think anybody actually should read banned books. I think banned books, they're banned for a reason. They're important. They're just, they're really important to societal constructs and all that. Don't get me into it. I'm an English major. Just, it goes crazy. But seriously, A Clockwork Orange, it is crazy. It has weird language. You're not going to understand half of it because, like, it uses Russian words. And it's just weird, but it is definitely worth a look if you don't feel like reading it, but you really should anyway. Um, the, the movie's pretty good. I mean... It's never going to compare to the book, obviously, like, no movie and book are the exact same, but I think the movie's a pretty good representation of it, so if you don't feel like it, you know, number, oh, we already had three, four, number four is this book, which is just from, just stylized, it's Anne of Green Gables by Lucy Maud Montgomery. Um, all Canadians are shuddering right now especially Islanders. Uh, that's for you, Jillian Vesey. Um, I know that you're definitely, um, yeah, you're definitely, yeah, cringing. Cringing. A friend of mine gave me this copy of it, and it's a very easy read. Um, it's not all that long. This one's 320 pages or so, and it's qu got quite big letters in it. Um, yeah, it's just, it's another one of those period novels, and yeah, just kind of, I think it's definitely worth a read, uh, especially if you're not Canadian and you don't know what Anna Green Gables is, you should totally give it a read because it is a huge piece of Canadian history. Well, Anna Green Gables wasn't a person, but Lucy Mon Montgomery is one of the one of the most celebrated um, Canadian authors of history. Namely because Prince Edward Island is basically a tourist trap for Anna Green Gables. <laughs> but still, seriously, read it. And last but not least, not really a book so much as it is a collection, but I think every single Lolita, or really anybody who likes books, should have a copy or a box set of the complete works of William Shakespeare. They, I got a set of, like a box set of three, so they're split into three books. Um, this one is comedies, memoir, and essays. Um, uh, one of them is another, like, couple things, but there's, like, one entire book of this of tragedies because that man wrote so many tragedies and I love them but I brought comedies memoirs and essays because my favorite Shakespeare play is A Midsummer Night's Dream and we all know that Alice and the Pirates uh, released that print or maybe the stars shine bright but you know, Alice and Pirates released A Midsummer Night's Dream print and it's I think it's my second dream dress, but of course I'll never fit it because, you know, six foot one. But yeah, definitely should get a copy of uh, The Complete Works of William Shakespeare. Get something in hardcover because it is like dictionary pages, like the thin, thin pages. Actually, these ones are pretty thick because it's in three books, so, but it's like very small print generally, so I definitely highly suggest something not in soft cover, like whether it be pleather bound, do not get leather bound, don't do it, uh, but whether it be hard cover or pleather bound, um, definitely look for a nice edition. So that was five books that I think every Lolita, or really anyone ever, should read at some point in their lives. Maybe make that part of your New Year's resolutions is to read these five books or add one of them or maybe uh, if you have a book that you suggest for me leave it in the comments and I could add it to my list of books to read for the year of course until May I won't have much time to read for pleasure but after that 
definitely some time. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a razzmatazz day.